hello. Uh, since you never know where I'm going to be, <laughs> I just pop up everywhere. Today we are in the basement of the Jamestown Public Library in Jamestown, North Carolina. I love coming here. I think about this place whenever I make a, a library role play. And a lot of times when I'm talking to people in the role play, I send them downstairs. I tell them to go down the stairs and go around you. And that's actually where we are. We're down in the basement. We go down the stairs from the main level. And um, down here, they have all kinds of books for sale, used books. And they have a room that has paperback books and a room that has hardback books. And this is where I get a lot of my library books, my videos. So we're going to take a look at some of the books today. Nothing fancy. We're just looking. Now, see, we're down in the basement so you can see, <laughs> you can see the insulation and the, and the duct work and everything. But they have shelves and shelves of hardback books in here. And, and they're I categorized by author, by the last name, Tom Wolf. And look at all these books. Higher Authority. The Hair with Amber Eyes. That's by Edmund DeWall. Stephen White. And several books by Stephen White. And they're, they're just really organized by, like, well, that's really specific, old books. <laughs> See, these don't even have the, the crinkly covers on them. Like they have the Emperor's Pearl, the Sorghum, the Sorghum was high. When the Sorghum was high. And I believe all of these are fiction novels. That's mostly what they have down here. But they also have travel books. Like a World Re Reference Atlas. Like Maui for Dummies. <laughs> I had no idea. Charles Carroll's America. Only a damn fool. And then they have gardening books too. Australia's Western Wildflowers. The American Gardener, a sampler. Successful Perennial Gardening. The Complete Gardener. Um, and these are some more of the fiction novels. Now when I come down here looking for books for videos, this is usually where I come to. And I will come through, and I will try to find books with crinkly covers. Like this one right, right here. This one looks like it would have a crinkly cover. Bad Monkey. And they have these little stools where you can sit down. Oh, that's a good one. Now that's one. That would be a good one. Make sure to put that back. This is Carl Hyacin. Where did I pick? Where did I get that? <laughs> right here. Yeah, right there. Bad monkey. Um. So that's what I do, and I try to find ones that are different sizes. Some of them are big. Some of them are not. See, a lot of these don't have the covers like I want. So sometimes I kind of have to look to find the ones that have the good covers. Let's see, this one just has a paper cover, and that wouldn't work. Let's see, we're just down here in the basement. Look at the floor. Oh my god, I think they're getting ready to redo the floor down here. It's very quiet. I'm the only one down here right now. Let's see, fiction A to F, and just starts here, and then just kind of winds around. And these are just books that are that they're not going to have in circulation anymore. And um, it's a nice little collection. They're a dollar each for the hardback books. And sometimes they have a sale. They'll have a sale when they get too many. And during the sale, you would take a paper bag, and as many books as you can fit in here, it's five dollars for the bag. And then you fill it with as many books as you can for that five dollars. See, they stamp them discarded. That's a wonderful one right there. Oh, that's so good. When I was a kid, this was one of my favorite sounds. This was such a good little book of sounds for me. I used to like to go to the library after school. And I would sit and listen to the librarian. Stamping the books, opening the books, and inspecting the books. It's wonderful. So, 
I love it down here too because it's really cute. You see, this one has a good cover. But these, this one does not. No, this has a paper cover. This one has a good cover. I'm going to look at that one again if you can see what it is. This one has no cover at all. Legacy by Howard Fast, author of The Establishment. This looks like an older book. And it's got tape that's coming off. Not only do you get the cover sound on this one, you get the sound of the spine, the actual book. A little bit. This one has some good quality sound to it. Where did you come from? Howard Fast. Howard Fast. Beginning here. Between the immigrant's daughter and second generation. We have Clive Cussler, The Eye of Heaven, Golden Buddha, Lost City, Inca Gold, White Death, Fire, Fire Ice, Medusa, The Chase, Black Wind, Ghost Ship, there's the Fire Ice again. Corsair, that's Clive, yeah, the same guy. And then we go to Margaret Cuthbert. Let's look at this one. This is Margaret Cuthbert, The Silent Cradle. It smells good in here too, it smells like old books. <laughs> I like the way it smells in here. Kind of reminds me of my grandparents' basement. This is a very, very old building. It used to be a school a long, long time ago. I like the cover on this one. This one has a little bit of a good cover. Yeah, this is a very old. We have a lot of Catherine Coulter books. It looks like it starts right here. The Valentine Legacy, Knockout, The Nightingale Legacy, Backfire, Double Take, Blindside, and another copy of Blindside, and another copy of Double Take, Tailspin, and I think that's it. Uh, we have lots of Patricia Cornwell books. Hornet's Nest, Hornet's Nest, Predator, The Apocalypse Brigade, Heroes, Cause of Death, and that is someone else, <laughs> The Scarpetta Factor, At Risk, ooh, I bet that would be a good one. This one is Isle of Dogs. Potter's Field. Oops. Set that one to the back. Let's do that. From Potter's Field. Point of Origin. There's another one that doesn't belong. This one has a good little sticker on it. What the heck? And this is another Isle of Dogs. The Front. Port Mortuary. Heaven Cross. Isle of Dogs again. Ooh, this one has a trippy. Cruel and unusual, at risk again, Black Lotus, the front, and then we have Catherine Coulter in here. So that looks like, except for this one and this one, these are all Patricia Cornwell books. 
one Tom Clancy, Red Rabbit. And then down here we have some more Tom Clancy. And then Commander in Chief, Clear and Present Danger. Something in Spanish. Cool. The Bear and the Dragon. Two copies of the book. Executive Orders. The Teeth of the Tiger. Bed of Honor. And then the Red Rabbit. Susan Carroll. The Night Drifter. Lula Cather. Antonia. The Kings and Planets by Ethan Kanan. Kanan, Kanan, however you say it. And we have Extreme Justice by William Bernard. Let the Dog Drive <laughs> by David Bowman. Heroes by Andrea Bashar. Mm, Lou Dobbs and James O'Born, Border War. Oops. Here we have Barbara Taylor Bradford, Dangerous to Know, two copies of Dangerous to Know, Where You Belong, looks like one's bigger than the other, Playing the Game, two copies of that, Power of a Woman, Sudden Change of Heart, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and that is by Anne Brashears. Brish I've never read any of this. Oops. Oh, now you've done it, Mary. <laughs> now you've done it. Sorry, I had to use two hands to get that in there. Because see, if I'm not careful, these will fall. Because there's nothing holding them up. Ooh, there's a tiny book. Secrets of the Code. What does this say? A keen lover of rare books met an unbookish guy who had just thrown away an old Bible, packed away for generations at the attic of his ancestral home. Somebody named Guten something had printed it, he added. Not Gutenberg, gasped the book lover. You've thrown away one of the very first books ever printed. One copy sold at auction recently for over $400,000. The other man, still unmoved, said, Oh, my copy wouldn't have brought a dime. Some fellow named Martin Luther had scribbled notes all over it. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. Uh, I love the people that work here. They're they're really cool. Hmm, so Jim Crace, being dead. A novel. Kind of a small book. And then we have Lynn Deaton, Dayton, however you say it. I have a lot of those books in my collection. I'd love to read, but honestly, I have not really had time to read much at all in so long. Um, I'm just, I'm so busy all the time. I would love to be able to sit down and read, but I'm so sleepy all the time that if I try to sit down and read, I just fall asleep. <laughs> wow, we have a lot of James Patterson books. My mom loves James Patterson. Goodness, they start way up here. That's Harry Patterson. We have Mary Mary. Just read that. Four Blind Mice. Crop of Never, Unlucky 13, The Sixth Target, 
step on a crack, cradle and all, second chance, London Bridges, Beach Road, Honeymoon, Violets Are Blue, The Beach House, Fourth of July, Merry Christmas Alex Cross, NYPD Red 3, Cobra and Rice Again, The Big Bad Wolf, Pop Goes the Weasel, and I think that's it for him. Some of these books have come from other locations. Assumed identity. They based on a novel of Antarctica. Jason Matthews. Goodwill's Brew. There's another Goodwill book. Who is leaving Goodwill books in here? What in the world? Who's buying books at Goodwill? It could be that they were donated. Maybe somebody bought it and read it and then donated it. I don't know. Yeah, they have a lot of books. All kinds. Barbara Michaels. The Dancing Floor. Oh, and then over here we have books on business. Most of these don't have the lovely crinkly covers, they just have regular covers. So it's just like, you know, if you were to find them in a bookstore, it just has a regular cover. And you have finances, investing, and these also don't have the fun crinkly covers. Break for your money, they have that. Great crash ahead, oil, the oil factor, oil number one. We're 50, now what? According to a lot of young people, you're about five minutes from death, so it doesn't matter. Scrapbooking with memory makers. The X Files. Encore. It's your dreams. Lots of somebody's hammering on the steps. It's really weird. Oprah's Club. This is for Oprah's Room. Oprah. And here we have books just on North Carolina. Which is cool. North Carolina's Outer Banks and Crystal Coast. North Carolina Weekends. The Blessed with Progress. The Guilford County Schools History. Here I Will Dwell. Blackjack. A Winner's Handbook. I don't think that belongs over here. Blackjack, really? <laughs> no. Jamestown Youth League. The 1991 baseball and softball season. <laughs> wow. Okay. Crafts. We have books about crafts. Quilting and patchwork. Scrap savers gift stitchery. A nostalgia crafts book. And maybe these are just miscellaneous books. The Art of Preserved Flower Arrangement. The Manual of Slide Duplicating the Scented Room. What return can I make? Oh, wait, wait. These are music books. A Musician's Guide to Church Music. And then we have Educational Materials. Office 2007 for Dummies. Hmm. Too young. Learning to Read, the Darwin Awards. Oh my god, I would love to have that. I need to get that. Some of these are hilarious if you've ever read any of the Darwin Awards. They're so good. Um, 
I'm not laughing at people dying, but the way some of these people die is just... Clues for the clueless retirement. In search of civility. Make good luck with that these days. No, it's not the same. Digital photography. North Carolina real estate manual. Hmm. All I really needed to know, I learned in kindergarten. I've read that. The best dictionary for students. The power of their ideas. It's, it's a nice little variety of stuff in here. Oh, and they have movies, but it's, it's mostly VHS tapes, which most people can't play. I don't even know how much these are, but um, I had a VCR up until I moved, and then I got rid of it. I only have a few things I could even watch on it anymore, and I just, I just got rid of it. It was just taking up space. My dad keeps giving me VHS tapes, even though I've told him I don't have a VCR anymore. A valley in Italy. This is beautiful. Look at this pretty cover. It's gorgeous. The many seasons of a villa in Umbria. That's such a pretty book. Isn't that lovely? I did a little video from this library before, maybe about a year ago. If I can find it, I'll put a link in the description. any books lately. I probably should get some. I kind of hope that they have a sale. <laughs> so I can get a big bag full for five bucks. I'm a cheap person. But I don't really need any right now. I have a bunch. Uh, and I don't really have anywhere to put all the ones I have now. So <laughs> I don't really need any books at this point. These are just paperbacks. I guess they're in here because, um, the other room just has the little novels, you know, not the books this size. I'll show it to you. You come down here. Oh, look, they have the Dewey Decimal Classification. Zero, zero, zero is computer science, information, and general works. 100 is philosophy and psychology. 200 is religion. 300 is social sciences. 400 is languages. 500 is science and mathematics. 600 is technology and applied science, 700 is arts and recreation, 800 is literature, 900 is history and geography and biography. And then they have um, the price list right here. They have a hardback book sale. It's a laminated sign for the Jamestown Public Library. Books in hardback room. These are a dollar. Um, trade books in the hardback room for 50 cents. The books in the paperback room are 25 cents or five for a dollar or you can exchange for free leave one take one that's pretty cool children's books are 50 cents vhs music and audiobooks are 10 cents or 10 for one dollar which is the same price i don't know why they put that there <laughs> like new hardbacks and dvds in the lobby are three dollars which is fantastic you can find some really good deals up there they have a little study room right there, which is cool. I'm not disturbing anyone. I don't think there's anybody down here. And then they have free magazines. You can come down here and get magazines. All kinds. Look, they have Our State. Bunches and bunches of Our State magazine, which is from a North Carolina magazine. Oh, yeah, there are nails and they have a sign telling you to keep your hands out. They have guideposts. My parents subscribed to guideposts when I was growing up, and I really got interested in reading because of Reader's Digest and guideposts. I used to read these every, however often they came. I guess it was once a month. They would get mad at me because I would take it into my room and read it and forget to give it back. It's People Magazine. Oops. Just, you know, they have a bunch of different things. Oh, this is a new um, bakery here in Jamestown. Uh, Cakes by B. Oh, it is. It looks really delicious. Some of the stuff they have. 
They make all kinds of stuff. They make bread, cakes, desserts, things. Beautiful stuff. So we have assorted magazines here. We have one stand there. One, two, and three. And then we have, this is the, the, the paperback ribbon. See, you have, you can sit here and read if you want to. Look at all these books. They have tons and tons of paperback books. Like the stories of Eva Luna by Isabel L. Allende. Lucky Penny by Katherine Anderson. Eva Luna. James Lee Burke, The Neon Rain. Steve Barry, The Paris Vendetta. Hocus by Jan Burke, Barbara Taylor Bradford, The Her, Barbara Taylor Bradford playing the game, Ethan Black, All the Dead or Strangers, Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. They have, look at all these books, oh my gosh, lots and lots of books. They have more over here, and then you have the bodice ripping romance novels, which I've never cared for. But they have a lot. I know a lot of people enjoy them. It's a nice escape. I just thought they're not my thing. They have Harlequin silhouettes over here. Looks like more romance novels over there. Just all kinds of stuff in here. And some more books back here. I think it's cool that they have this down here. It's really nice. That they give us this area to come to where you can sit and read and you can come get a book and it's just awesome that they do that. And then they have more VHS tapes in here. Down there, and then they have these are video games, computer programs, they even have some records. This is all the DVDs I have right here. That's it. Wow. So anyway, this is our little downstairs part of the library. I'm not going to disturb people upstairs. They're pretty busy up there. They're only open for three hours on Saturdays. So you really have to hustle to get here. There's some flowers up there. There's a vase with some stuff in it. So I'm not going to go up there and disturb people. I don't want to bother them. These are cookbooks. These usually don't have crinkly covers either, so when I come looking for books for library videos, I don't really look at these because they just either have no cover or just the paper cover. So I don't know. Although that one has a crinkly cover. The Silver Palette Good Times Cookbook. So anyway, this is our library right here. I love coming here. It's just nice. It's usually pretty peaceful. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the, a little bit of a tour of some of the books down here. And I hope to see you again really soon. And that you have a wonderful day.